This beagle's humans were looking for him everywhere when a duo came to their rescue. Pets are undeniably an important part of our lives. To some people, their pets mean life to them. Nowadays, people have started taking their dogs for holidays with them. Hikes, treks, and even abroad, for those who can afford it. Rest leave them with a trusty dog care center. They make our lives happier and help us sleep better. When they're in pain, we are hurt too. When they fall sick, we feel too sick inside the stomach. If anything happens to our bundles of joy, we just can't stop blaming ourselves for not taking care of them properly. The reason why we are reminding you all these moments is that today's story is kind of a similar situation, but a bit more dramatic, where a couple tried all they had in their hands to bring their Benny back. No, they don't own a cheetah as their pet. The above picture is to give you an idea of their immense love towards animals. This is the story of the couple and their pooch's struggle. A couple who adores animals and spends most of their time with their pets, just like every owner, they're the best human to their pets. But how everything that seemed to be very normal and ordinary changed for them within a few hours is a reminder for every pet owner. Peanut, a cat, Benny, and Spike, two beagles, are their three babies who eagerly await for Matt and Grace to return home from their work every day. The trio is always messing around with each other or laying down with ease. Matt and Grace are always in the habit of keeping themselves occupied with something or other, and similar are the habits of their pets. Although they are always busy throughout the day when their owners aren't home, while the couple is out for their jobs, a dog walker goes to their place to take Benny and Spike out for a refreshing walk during the afternoons. One Friday seemed like any other day, but that didn't really happen. The morning was going fine until evening when they received sad news when they reached home. The dogs were taken for the regular walk to the Belmont Regional Park, which is the biggest regional park in Wellington. Dogs are generally taken for walks there as the place offers a lot of places for dogs to have enough exercise. They can play with other dogs with whom they interact in the way. That afternoon wasn't like the rest in any way. On April 6, 2017, Friday morning, when Matt and Grace wished bye-bye to Benny and Spike, the Beagles, and Peanut, the cat, just like any other day, the day seemed like an ordinary day, but by the end of this Friday, the owners got sad news about one of their beagles. It came as a big shock to both of them. All of their pets are an important part of their lives, and to what extent this couple went to is more than believable. That afternoon, Benny managed to take off from his dog carer. The dog ran straight towards the woods and didn't return. The dog walker looked for him as far as she could, but had to return empty-handed. That day, only Spike returned home without his brother, Benny. After making all the attempts, when Benny wasn't found yet, it was finally time to inform his family. But the thing is, how did he even run away? If we tell you that a dog ran off when their caretaker was with them, you might come up with your own questions of doubt. But if you own a beagle, you are definitely aware of this breed's actions and reactions. Beagle itself means loudmouth in French. No doubt they're one of the most vocal breeds. This dog breed, is said to be very active, with a very strong sense of smell. Beagles are even referred to as the nose with feet, and they can differentiate between more than 50 smells. Now, Benny's attempt to run away doesn't seem like a big surprise for any of you, right? It was the dog's owner's biggest nightmare come true. When Matt and Grace returned home, they immediately identified that something is wrong. Instead of two wagging tails, they could only see one, and that was Spike, welcoming them with his happy face. However, it was Benny's habit to wait for his owners, out of excitement every day right at the door. This was a strange thing to happen. The dog walker informed the couple about what happened this afternoon, and both Matt and Grace were in a state of shock. Not knowing what to do, they did what was obvious. The couple rushed to the park where the dog carer saw him for the last time. As we told you before, the couple always treated their pets as kids, and now you're about to know to what extent they went to find their lost pooch. The hours seemed longer, and Benny the Beagle wasn't anywhere. They didn't see his dog collar or anything. They couldn't track him down anywhere. Matt didn't even return home that night. He parked his car in Regional Park's parking lot and slept in his car, leaving the windows open, hoping that Benny will run back to him as soon as he gets Matt's smell. By the next morning, it was clear that Benny was nowhere close to the park or the outer boundaries of the park, rather somewhere in the deep woods far away from Matt's smell. 
Matt still slept in the parking lot with his car doors open, hoping for Benny to return, but he never did, just the disappointment was increasing every day. They were aware of Benny's nature, and they just couldn't imagine how scared and alone he might be feeling. He's a lovely, easy-going puppy, really a home soul. As soon as you sit down on the lazy boy, he jumps up into your lap and rolls onto his back for a bit of a cuddle, Matt recalled. Every day was becoming more and more difficult for the couple. When he's out, he's just howling with joy and wants to play with every dog, every kid, every person. He's just a really lovely dog, Matt regretted. Gracie and Matt were losing hopes, but they weren't ready to give up, as they knew something was very wrong with Benny, otherwise he would have returned home. They were just not able to get along with the idea of Benny, who knows nothing about wildlife, left there all by himself. A few days later, Matt and Grace started forming search parties that were including their relatives, friends, and neighbors. However, a search of this level wasn't helping, so they decided to include more people in the search to open more possibilities of Benny's return. Thus, the couple spread the word as much as they could. The couple's sorrow made them share their story on Facebook. They made a page named Bring Benny Home. Grace updated Benny's photos on this page and also shared his last known location. Although it had already been days since Benny wasn't home and he could now be in any of the locations in the regional park, they were doing all they could from their end. Looking at Benny's sweet photos, the page went viral within hours. From zero, it reached thousands of followers, with some of the local residents who wanted to help look for Benny throughout the park. Yet that wasn't all. More efforts were to be made to search for the missing Benny. It was the fifth day. He was out there without any food or water. He loved the company of his humans, and cuddling with them was one of Benny's favorite things to do, and he was now wandering somewhere all alone. Yes, everyone blamed the dog walker for what happened, but the couple was keeping themselves calm all this while. We're really upset, and it shouldn't have happened, but it is something that I guess is a risk, told Matt. The couple made the whole neighborhood aware of their missing pooch via Facebook. The couple even got in touch with each and every animal rescue agency that they remembered at the time. They were regularly in touch with the local shelters to know if anyone found him and put him up in any shelter. They even asked for help from the SPCA National Rescue Unit for support in finding Benny. Matt and Grace put up his posters all around town, in mailboxes of the nearby houses. Within a day or two, there wasn't a single person left in the city who wasn't aware of Benny, the missing beagle. Everyone was looking out for him in the Belmont Regional Park. Things weren't good already, and were soon to be even worse. That weekend, the weather forecast was showing an unexpected snowstorm. Matt and Grace knew how hard it could be for Benny to survive. The forecasts were right that there was not only a winter ice storm, but tornadoes too. They were now ready to hire the professional search crew to look for him. Luckily, the search and rescue teams were helping them in all possible forms. The search for Benny the Beagle by helicopter started with infrared technology. It was like looking for a needle in a haystack. An expert named Jordan Munn was also looking for the Beagle with the help of his tracking equipment. An expert from the rescuing team told an interview, There's a lot of variables and we can't control where exactly the dog is. If it's hiding under a rock, you're obviously not going to get a heat signature from it. Now that we haven't seen the heat signature in the immediate area, we have some concerns that someone's picked him up as he came out. They were thinking of the other possibilities that either Benny isn't alive anymore, or he was secretly taken by someone. With every other day, the chances were decreasing for Benny's return. Matt and Grace put up a reward of $500 for anyone who'll bring their loving pup back home safely. They were hoping that if anyone kept Benny, he or she will return it to the rightful owners for the sake of money. Although dogs have a lot of surviving skills, with the help of those they can survive for a longer time. After nine days when everyone was losing hope, as more than thousands of volunteers already looked through the park for the missing Benny, moreover the helicopter looked across the place with the help of state-of-the-art technology, but all proved to be a failure. A couple came up as their only hope. Alicia and Justin were Matt and Grace's close friends and were helping them to search for Benny. They decided to take one last search to Belmont Regional Park, but this time they wanted to go as far as they could. They were ready to explore the parts that other people haven't covered. The park is hilly, deep, deep ravines and other difficult obstacles, but this couple was sure to cover the whole area this time. Alicia and Justin initiated their search from where Benny was last seen. 
The couple soon reached a ravine and stopped there for some unknown reason. It was very hard to climb up and the couple was certain that hardly anyone would have searched for Benny there. In order to climb up as the couple weren't professional hikers, they got many scratches and cuts again and again. They crossed from the side of a small waterfall and finally made it to the top. Somehow, Alicia and Justin made it to the top of the ravine, and once they were there, they didn't even have to search around the place. They saw Benny right in front of them. He was just a few hundred feet away from where he ran off, from his dog walker. The poor little dog didn't make any noise, rather just wagging his tail. He was hardly able to move, as his leash was stuck on a log. Fortunately, he was close enough to the waterfall to get access to water. Alicia and Justin made a video of the miraculous moment and shared it with Matt and Grace. Their happiness had no limits at the moment, but the issue was the steep ravine that was yet to be crossed, and this time with Benny. In order to keep Benny safe, the couple took more than three hours to make it back. Benny was safely brought down the ravine, this time to meet his parents who were dying to see him again. After meeting and hugging Benny, his owners took him directly to the vet. He lost a lot of weight in the last nine days and they weren't sure if he had any internal injury or any other medical issues. The video of Benny's return to home is so heartwarming, just wait for it. Benny was taken to the local emergency vet. Nine days without food and shelter and being through a strong winter storm might have affected the dog badly. He lost more than six pounds, but he managed to stay hydrated. Overall, he has come out of his ordeal in very good health, Grace posted on Facebook. He was given food bit by bit. He slept on his owner's bed for the first night after his rescue. It took him some time, but he came back to his regular diet and is now becoming more active than ever. We can't express how thankful we are, tells Grace. They went on an epic mission up a ravine, climbed a waterfall, and risked their own safety in the hopes of coming across him. Benny was not making a peep, but somehow they managed to find him anyway. He was stuck to a log by the lead, unable to move more than a few steps in any direction. Luckily, he had access to water, Grace shared on Facebook, about how grateful she is to Alicia and Justin. I can't speak highly enough of the SPCA National Rescue Unit. Their staff and volunteers are amazing and so willing to help. We are incredibly grateful for the assistance they provided us in finding our lost dog, Benny. Thanks so much again, guys, Grace shared on her Facebook. The family even managed to manage a barbecue. Because of you all and your phenomenal support, tonight I was able to sit in my lounge and hear my two pups snoring away like nothing ever happened. Thank you so much, Matt posted on Facebook. They arranged a barbecue in the happiness of finding Benny. The party was a success, as mostly everyone showed up with their pets at the venue. Benny still may be a little pooped after his party yesterday, the caption stated on Facebook. A later barbecue was held. Benny was the center of attention at the barbecue, and he was completing on his nap a few days later. The Facebook page now helps other missing dogs in need. The people of New Zealand are very connected to their dogs. More than 60% of the country's population owns a dog. On May 6, 2018, a black and white dog, Spencer, was missing in Wayne Umada in the north of Wellington. With the help of the group awareness, Spencer was reunited with his family within a day. Spencer even had a microchip on his collar. In New Zealand, all the dogs are supposed to wear a microchip so that it's easy for them to be located once they go missing. The rule has been introduced since 2006 and was helping in reuniting an enormous number of pets with their owners. If this ever happens to anyone, make sure that everyone in your neighborhood and all the city's shelters are aware that your dog is missing, just like Matt and Grace's case. If nothing is working, then do not hesitate in taking a step towards social media. For people who don't want to risk it anyway, you can always get a GPS tracker for their pets. It can be attached to their collars and you can install the required app in your smartphone and always keep a track on where your dog is. In case you hire a dog walker, then do not forget to get dog walker insurance as well. The value of something is realized when it is gone, but our pets are precious and don't wait for them to run away to make you realize their importance in your life. If you like the story of Benny the Beagle, then do share it with your friends.